Hello and welcome to Exploring and Exploiting OLAP Cubes using SQL Power Wabbit. In this brief demo, we'll look at how SQL Power Wabbit can be used to easily create OLAP queries, explore them using drill down analysis, and display the results in professional looking reports. Whether you're new to OLAP or a seasoned expert, the SQL Power Wabbit BI tool provides the easiest way to explore OLAP cubes. Now, if you're new to this tool, SQL Power Wabbit is the intuitive all-in-one BI reporting tool for Mac, PC, and Unix, and you can download it from sqlpower.ca slash wabbit. Okay, let's jump right into the Wabbit and get started. Our first step is to create a new workspace and connect to an OLAP data source. For this demo, we'll use our Food Mart OLAP data source, which contains data for a grocery store chain. Once we've selected our data source, we can select a cube to work with. For this demo, we'll select the sales cube. Now we can easily create our OLAP query by dragging and dropping measures and dimensions into the row, column, and filter axes. For our demo, let's put store type on the column axis, promotions on the rows axis, cross join with the customers, and we'll put unit sales on the filter axis, assuming that this is the metric we're interested in. SQL Power Wabbit gives you the ability to do drill down analysis on any metric. To drill down, just click on the triangle next to the metric name. Now let's dig a little deeper to refine our query. To zero in on any row, we can do a drill replace by right clicking on any row and selecting drill replace. If you want to ignore any rows that don't contain data, just click the Omit Empty Rows checkbox. And if we're not interested in the top level member, we can right click on it and select Exclude Member. And if we needed to change any of our rows or columns, we would just right click and select Remove Hierarchy. Okay, getting back to our demo. Let's say we're interested in profit, sales count, and store sales. So we drag those measures into the columns axis. And we can sort by any of those columns just by clicking on the column header. As you can see, SQL Power Wabbit gives us a simple interface to explore OLAP cubes and drill down to specific data we're looking for without the need to manually write any code. Now if we want to visualize this query, we just click on Create Chart. From the Wabbit's chart editor, we could easily customize a chart to our liking. For now, let's just define categories and series. And then it's just as easy to place this chart into a report. To create a new report, right click on Reports and Dashboards in the Workspace tree and select New Report. We can either create a blank report from scratch or choose from one of the Wabbit's built-in report templates. Then from the Wabbit report editor, we can just drag and drop the components we want into the report. Let's take the chart we created, as well as the OLAP query, and we'll display this as an OLAP viewer. Alternatively, we can remove this OLAP query and replace it with a relational result set. We can tweak this result set by clicking and dragging the columns. And we can double click on the query to access the advanced settings. Here we would set our columns to the correct formats. and activate grand totals. And now our OLAP report is ready to be shared, either as a live online dashboard or exported to PDF for emailing or printing. Now that we've covered a basic example, let's review the advantages of using SQL Power Wabbit to explore OLAP data. As you've seen, Wabbit gives you an easy way to explore your OLAP cubes 
without writing custom code and without help from IT. And best of all, you can download and try SQL Power Wabbit Client Edition at no cost. The free download even includes a sample OLAP data source for you to play around with. And if you upgrade to the Enterprise Edition, SQL Power Wabbit also adds fine-grained security, report collaboration, report scheduling, and more. That's all, folks. For more information on SQL Power Wabbit, you can visit sqlpower.ca slash wabbit. Or you can skip right to the download page at sqlpower.ca slash wabbit download.